What or how to observe itikaf? Itikaf means lying down, standing, as if lying in the court of Allah for the purpose that until forgiveness and mercy, I will lie in the court. Itikaf is called in terminology. Itikaf is staying for some time in the holy house of Allah in the hope of attaining his pleasure. Itikaf is of three types. 1. Nafal itikaf, which can be for a short period of time. 2. Sunnah itikaf, which takes place during the last decade of Ramadan. 3. Wajib itikaf is to perform a full day with fasting by observing it. This itikaf of the last decade of Ramadan is Sunnah Muakada Kafaya. The scholars have agreed that itikaf is sunnah, not obligatory. But if someone takes an oath and makes it obligatory upon himself, it is obligatory. Just as there is an opportunity for men to do itikaf, there is also an opportunity for women. Just as men can perform itikaf, women can also perform itikaf. Rather, it is easier for women to perform itikaf. They will select a corner of the house and stay there for itikaf. The period of sunnah itikaf begins from the 21st night of Ramadan. On the 20th of Ramadan, you have to come to the place of Itikaf before the sun sets. After that, when the moon of Eid is seen, the time of Itikaf ends. A person who gives pure to Allah and performs Nafal Itikaf for one day, Allah will remove hell from him by three trenches. A trench is defined as a distance greater than the distance from the sky to the ground. Itikaf has three special benefits and virtues. That is, a special benefit of itikaf is that by doing itikaf, there is a special possibility of getting Laylatul Qadr or Shab Qadr, because the last decade of Ramadan is the most likely time for Shab Qadr, and the itikaf kari remains in the court of Allah during this whole time. So by performing itikaf in the last decade of Ramadan, getting Laylatul Qadr or Shab Qadr is pretty much guaranteed.